Welcome to your market updating charts of the day. It's Mike Smith, the Go Market Senior Analyst, to lead you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session on the 27th of February. Let's have a look at the news. Of course, overnight we saw a fairly soft session in the US. We've got a big week of data ahead, and that perhaps is what the market is waiting for. There was only the Russell actually finished in positive territory last night, but of course, we're still very near those record highs. If we look at the futures, the US futures are slightly lower, just below neutral, and Asian markets are mixed with the Nikkei continuing to breach new highs. ASX is trading just around neutral. It's been in a very tight range for most of the day. European equity futures are also pointing to a cautious open this afternoon. You've seen a pattern developing here, I'm sure. US dollar index is holding support of a short term range, and gold consequently didn't move very much, still trading around about that 2030 level. Copper was a bit weak yesterday after the strong week last week, perhaps a little profit taking. At the next key level is at 392, so that's one to watch. And all moved back down through the 200 MA and continues to be there despite a slightly positive session overnight. Bitcoin, however, was the major mover overnight. We saw it break out of that 50 to 52K range, it moves up to 55,000. Some continuation in Asia today as well suggesting that buyers are back into crypto with the end of earnings season unlikely to influence markets very much now though we did see some strong results from zoom yesterday uh, data is likely to dominate throughout the week it is a quiet day again today the only u.s durable goods and housing data the numbers of significance we do ramp up tomorrow uh, in australia we've got uh, the latest monthly cpi numbers and we've got gdp coming out of the u.s a couple of charts that caught our eye today uh, we're going to start with WTC. Why State Global we've talked about this company quite a few times. You had this nice earnings pop last week, and we're just stuck under that 9050 level. We are now breaching that and challenging new all time highs. The stock looks as though it's on track to move up to 100. It's trading around about 92.63 at this stage. On the FX front, the GB pounds looking strong this morning against the Kiwi. You can see this hourly chart has it testing this R1 pivot. Uh, just around the 206 area uh, you can see there we did have a strong candle in the last hour i'll just bring this up a little bit so you can see it in a bit more detail but failed to hold that move over to 593 we're having another go right now uh, a move through this could see us up around the 20650 level so perhaps 50 pips to be gained should it do so trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now